Hey, it's WBZ's Mark Caddick. You know, this time of year, it is the most popular vehicle in Boston. It's not a sports car, doesn't get great gas mileage, but it can hold a futon, some dressers, and any other furniture you can cram into it, and other trash bags you can throw in, because this weekend, Labor Day weekend, is moving weekend, and students are moving in and out and around all over Boston, and you can't do it without that friendly U-Haul truck. It's like the Swallows returning to Capistrano if they drove moving trucks. Every Labor Day weekend means the return of thousands of college students cramming Boston streets and hoping the police don't ticket as you try to park as close as possible to where you need to be. So she was blocking, saving the spot while I was coming around the corner trying to fight traffic, but luckily we got a good spot. We, got, we hired a couple friends to move, paid them $30 an hour, and they're active. So oh gosh. we're, we're fortunate. And that's even before you start hauling out the furniture and everything else you own. It really helps on moving weekend if you're a KG veteran. Um, today's actually the smoothest move out I've had because last year they were doing construction right in front of the building. <laughs> <laughs> so how much stuff do you have? A lot. Really? I'm kind of a pack rat. Uh oh. <laughs> so, but my mom's brilliant at packing, so that works. <laughs> It's also the time that Boston Mayor Tom Menino and Inspectional Services hit the streets, making sure landlords no longer rent out substandard housing to the students. I see that some of these uh, landlords are renting these units out to our students uh, with a lot of uh, sanitary code violations, the housing code violations, and uh, not filing uh, their uh, notice of who's the management company for this property, and just the rubbish they throw on the streets, and where's the time to really refurbish the apartments and, and students move in. Uh, it doesn't exist and that's why it's always a problem for us to see with a real heavy uh, student population to deal with this. And the uh, inspectional service department uh, does a great job of uh, inspecting the units to make sure that they are meet the sanitary code and the building code as new students move into them. We don't like these landlords who are taking advantage of our student population. Has it gotten better or worse over the last couple of years? It's got better over the last couple of years. Uh, a few years ago it was uh, horrendous out here. But as we go around, uh, we look at it's much better um, of the cleanup we have here, but also some of the apartments are, are in decent shape, but still there are those unscrupulous landlords who want to take advantage of the students of Boston. And, uh, we want to make sure the students, when they leave home and live in our city, have a safe place to live. So if you're going to be moving your son or daughter to Boston sometime in the near future, pay heed to this good advice. Plan ahead. Move in the middle of the night. Yeah. Move, <laughs> if you can, move in move the middle, in the middle of, the of the night. But just, uh, I'd say plan ahead because uh, you can't get a truck right now. So if we would not have reserved this, you know, weeks ahead of time, we would have been just out of luck. Right. There were and people. have people help you because, uh, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. And, <laughs> yes, yes. and uh, you know, a little enticement of $30 an hour to a couple college guys, and they're just uh, anxious as anything. Yeah. And when in doubt, have a spouse be a roadblock. <laughs> that and maybe get a long list of pizza places in the neighborhood. Mark Caddick, WBZ News Radio 1030.